Meghan Markle looked happy to not be the star of the show at this year's Invictus Games, according to one body language expert. In his speech at the closing ceremony, Prince Harry failed to mention his wife, not acknowledging the fact that she had travelled to support him. Despite this, body language expert Judy James said that Meghan seemed to have no problem regarding this, adding that she was a low-key member of the audience. Having not arrived for the start, Meghan said in a speech earlier in the had been completed successfully. She added, in terms of her no-show on stage and lack of mention from Harry, despite the romantic on-stage appearance at the last Invictus, there seemed to be no problem there for Meghan who was anything but a low-key member of the audience and clearly not showing signs of any disappointment or resentment at not being the star of the show. Ms. James then went on to describe Meghan's appearance as an immersive experience at the Games. She said, she might not have got up on stage herself, but Meghan turned sitting in the audience into a very immersive experience, giving the arriving athletes a standing ovation that lasted over 40 minutes and then this joyful, enthusiastic body language as Sam Ryder sang what sounded like the perfect anthem for Invictus. However, Ms. James mentioned that Meghan had seemingly provided one of the best moments at the Games, her interaction with singer Sam Ryder. The expert added, Megan is clap dancing here, bringing her arms up and back in time to the beat and clapping them together to join in the song. Sam is an enthusiastic performer and when he leapt off stage to sing around the audience one of the best reactions he got was from Megan who, sitting in the front row, belted the song out as Sam stood in front of her, holding the mic in her direction. Meghan has been by Harry's side at every Invictus game since 2017, with the Duchess making the move to show her endless support. The couple also used the 2017 games to make their first ever public appearance together. Harry founded the games in 2014, with it being referred to as his best work by many royal experts.